The government has recently renewed emphasis on expediting the growth of startup companies with the goal of fostering more technopreneurs. While the initiative garnered praise, Samantha President William Ng underscores the significance of broadening the scope of support to encompass SMEs that, while not classified as startups, hold the potential for substantial growth and impact. While we have no objection to, of course, the government um, giving funds or incentives to startups in general, uh, we are saying that uh, it would be actually more uh, meaningful and probably more effective if the same fund can be redirected uh, to helping uh, SMEs that are high growth um, and high impact to actually grow. Um, there's nothing to, say, to stop uh, SMEs that are successful today to become the next unicorn. Uh, so while we are there, you know, chasing unicorns and, and, and putting the bat on new companies, essentially, uh, to achieve that, uh, I think it is a misconception that uh, SMEs do not have the same growth rate uh, or that SMEs uh, are not able to scale um, to a unicorn level. If all the largest companies uh, in Malaysia, uh, the privately owned ones, uh, we don't talk about the GLCs, uh, people like Top Glove, uh, Custom, they are valued at $1 billion. Real $1 billion, not just uh, valuation, uh, but uh, listed on stock exchange uh, with a market cap of about a billion dollar, a billion dollar and, um, and, and making real profit as well. William also shared some of the immediate challenges Malaysian SMEs face, such as the talent crunch problem. I think today the immediate challenge is really the, the talent crunch uh, that is affecting every sector. Uh, and we're not even talking about the foreign workers, uh, but every SME that we speak to is saying that they can't even get enough workers and the right workers locally, not foreign workers. So the gap between uh, what the industry needs and what the education system is producing continue to be quite wide. So we find that not only can uh, we cannot get workers, but when we do, we have to also train them um, from, from scratch. So we are not just competing against a stronger Singapore dollar, for example, or against larger companies. But today, I think the biggest issue for many SMEs is that the gig economy is probably number one uh, competition for us uh, where talents are concerned. The other immediate problem, of course, is, uh, is the issue of rising costs. So a lot of consumers say, you know, costs are rising, costs are rising. But this problem is not just uh, limited to, to consumers. I think most SMEs are operating on a very tight margin compared to a larger firm. And uh, I think while the cost of raw materials and logistics have now stabilized compared to a year ago, uh, we're now seeing a rapid rise in uh, rental, for example, and salaries, for example. And these are all affecting uh, our SMEs.